So again, today we're basically just gonna uh, get onboarded. And last year when we were all virtual, I had this, there's also some of this is in our modules too that you'll start to see. Um, but almost everybody had some problem on some module. So what I'd like to do is just do it all with us here. So we're gonna go through these things, make sure you guys can get to the tool and activate the tool. And if not, it's all good. We'll pause for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and I'll walk around and, and help make sure you guys get all, all tied in and everything. Cool? All right. Um, uh, and, if, and if anybody, let me check. Hey, Zach. Are those, do we have those computer, those laptops? Yeah. Yeah. So if anybody, does anybody need to borrow a laptop just to like log on and do some stuff, or is everybody good? Because we have some laptops if, if you guys need it. It's all good. We have them. Yeah, an, an, an iPad should work. We're just gonna like sign on to services and stuff, so it should be uh, something with a browser should be enough, and/or your email. Okay, cool. All right, All right so um, let's let's talk logistics uh, here today. Um, so first, uh, a little bit about our class. Um, you know, on paper we have our lectures on Monday, and we have this sort of activity lab section on Wednesday. I'll generally try to stick to that, but sometimes, depending on some subjects, it might just need more time. So, so the lecture might bleed into when in, into the Wednesday. So you guys, you guys will come for these different sections, and uh, you know, depending on how we need to adjust, we'll adjust. But um, but both of these are our class times, both our our Mondays and our Wednesdays. Um, uh, and as I mentioned before, you know. The, the merging of two of us isn't going to work, so we'll go back to our, after this week, we'll go back to our uh, dedicated lab times. Uh, both, of, both of the labs are in this one room, so you guys come here. Um, uh, the other thing, another thing we're going to do is when we get to, uh, in a little bit, we have two large data collection efforts, and that is, those aren't done in the classroom, those are done out and about. And then uh, similarly, when we get towards the end of the semester, we have our trips. So I'll talk about those in, in a few minutes, but, but those are our spaces. We have some Del Norte space, we have some Sierra Hall space, out and about space, and then, and then going on trips. Um, and as I said, I'm gonna try to record, unless there's some weird internet gram, I'm gonna try to record everything regardless. So if somebody's sick, or if you guys wanna review the content, you guys have that. So, so that, that should work. Um, although again, this first week with getting the technology working, it might hiccup now, but, but it will quickly get any kinks worked out and you guys will have access to the recordings of stuff. So again, if you guys feel a little ill or you guys have not sure what you have, it's all good, stay home and you'll still be able to get uh, the main content. So uh, our materials are organized in a couple different ways on our Canvas page or our, our Canvas uh, class site, I should say. Uh, so we have some things that are sort of the core topics, and those just go for a week, week or two. And then we'll have a couple other things like our coastal opinion polls, et cetera, that are a module, but the module won't be, uh, I know some instructors do you know, one module per week, one module per week, one module per week. Um, we have a mix. So some of those are, those are those more linear kind of stuff we're doing right now, and other modules will just be open during the duration of that assignment. So we'll go several weeks. Um, as far as uh, what you guys are getting graded on, this, these, are the, these are the elements you guys are going to get graded on. So, um, and my motivation for like why, why I have that. Um, so uh, participation is showing up. We're having discussions or doing some posting online or whatever it is. You know, you, you guys are, are uh, engaging. You're, you're saying things other than cool. You know, you're actually putting a couple sentences together and, and, and giving some perspective and and back and forth. Um, uh, then we have, uh, as we'll talk about today, we have some posts. So one thing, we're gonna sort of alternate basically kind of every other week, roughly. Um, but in some cases, some weeks we're doing posts, and so that's gonna be grabbing any coastal-related news item from any kind of reputable source. LA Times, Ventura County Star, that kind of stuff and putting it on a shared site, a news curation site. And, um, and uh, we'll do that by Wednesday. When that, it's a week for that, you'll do it by Wednesday. Most of our stuff is gonna be due at the end of the week, 
you know, the default, the default for the quiz, the default for this thing, it's going to be due end of the week. The exception is this, is this, um, or the consistent exception, I should say, is this news curation. And I'll show you the tool we're going to use for that in a second. But, um, but there's a deadline of Wednesday, 8 a.m., because this assignment is not just you grab news stories, it's that you grab news stories and share them with everybody else. So you guys, I want them posted by midweek so that you all can look at them and, and give feedback or comments or whatever by the end of the week, by Friday. Um, and then the weeks we're not doing that, we're going to be doing uh, reading summaries of some of our readings. And then we will have weekly quizzes. The quizzes are not designed to take forever. The quizzes are designed to be about um, factual stuff, short-term recall, uh, 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 you know, things, some, some, an example we mentioned um, in the lecture, something from the reading, that kind of stuff, right? So, so making sure that you're, you're keeping up with the reading and that kind of, and that uh, type of stuff. Um, I guess I'll just, I'll just jump down to the bottom for comparison. So we do have two exams. Our exams are all take home. So our exams, unlike, so the quizzes are like, you know, tell me this date and what was it, what's the, this term mean? And you know, that kind of stuff. The tests are much more conceptual. So you can, you can take it home. It's open book. It's open whatever. You just got to cite your references. But it's more synthesis, right? So the, the tests are more, okay, we've read all this stuff or we've talked about all this stuff or we've done these things. Um, let's put it together. Let, let's see if we can do some interpretation here or apply that in another setting kind of thing. So, um, so that's our midterm and our final. Again, both take home, and you guys will have many days to work on those. It's not, you won't you won't get it, and then it's not going to be due the next day. So um, typically, you'll have about five days or so to to work on those exams. Um, okay. Next, uh, we want to observe some management as much as we can. So um, we're going to do. Uh, some trips if we can, although the fact that we have to break up in terms of our meeting time for the lab is a little bit challenging. But in any event, we're definitely going on these trips at the end of the semester. Two flavors, uh, which I'll, I'll talk about in a minute. Uh, but basically, one is an in-person one, one is a virtual one. And I'd, you guys are welcome to do both, but I would like you to do one. So everybody should be able to do the virtual one, hopefully. Um, but uh, we also have the, the, the three-day trip up the Central Coast option, and you are more than welcome to do both, but I understand that it, they're kind of a lot of time. I'll, I'll, I'll explain a little more detail in a minute. Uh, and then we have our data collection efforts, our opinion poll, which we'll start with, uh, and our, then later in the semester, our seafood survey. And so those have been going on for about 16 years, and so... Uh, various agencies and folks uh, use the data that you guys collect. So it's really cool that, that you guys are in this class, but you're collecting stuff that is at least having some kind of impact on management, informing folks what's working, what's not working. Um, so uh, when, when we look at the um, Canvas page, you'll see this, but this is a, um, a schedule. And so stuff is detailed out there in terms of what we're doing, what week, et cetera. Um, as far as a rough schedule for logistics, uh, you guys can do what you want to do, but this is just, you know, a, a first pass, like a suggestion you might want to think about. So um, this class is a lot of units, right? It's more than just the typical three unit class. So there's a lot of, there's concomitantly more effort expected in here. So my suggestion would be, so our weeks start, so this is, you know, for example, start of week four, right? So Monday... This is a sort of theoretical example here. So Monday, let's start week four. Before that week starts, start on the reading for that week, okay? So I would, I would start, you know, a couple days before the week. So say Saturday, hey, start looking at my, that module, start looking at the readings and, and going over what's there. Monday, coming to class, totally welcome you guys to come to office hours, come by. A lot of you guys did on Monday, it was great. Up at Tortillas, you guys can get lunch, say hi to me. Tell me about what's going on, all that kind of good stuff. Um, that's really helpful. And again, I encourage you to do the same for all of our faculty. And sometimes it's kind of, I, I think, I don't have everybody's schedules yet, but I think sometimes that can be hard. But given that I think many of us at least have part of our office hours on Zoom, 
think that makes it a bit easier for you guys to at least logistically make it to us. Um, so, uh, so yeah. So, so come to class, come to office hours. Tuesday, I'd work on whatever the longer term thing is at the moment. Let's say it's the, the coastal data stuff, coastal opinion poll, that type of stuff. Then Wednesday, come to class, do the lab, whatever the lab activity or, or exercise, whatever we're doing. Post that news story, right? Remember I said one, if, if it's a week for the news story, post it by Wednesday. Um, if it's not, if it's if it's a week we're doing a reading summary, just uh, you know, do that then, get it taken care of. Um, uh, Thursday, again, a little bit of background stuff, working on jazz, working on the coastal data. Take the quiz. Uh, which is due Friday, but you know, take it, take it early. So the quiz is due Friday, but it won't be on until Wednesday. And that's because everything is fair game for the quiz. So while a lot of it will be the readings, a lot of it will be the stuff we've, we've, uh, you know, gone on or looked at on Canvas or what have you, but anything is fair game. So stuff from the lecture and the lab. So that's why we got to, that's why I wait till Wednesday to flick it on. Um, uh, da, 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 da. yeah. Okay, cool. Um, and, and, uh, and then Thursday, uh, uh sorry, uh, sorry, we're on Thursday, an optional thing. You guys do not have to do this. It's not graded. You're not required to, if you do not go to any of these, you will not suffer. Your grade will not suffer, but, um, you know, we're still not back to normal yet, right? We're still kind of having to be far away from each other and we can't just sort of socialize and stuff. So I started doing this last year and then got distracted with chair stuff, but now I'm focusing on it more. So we're going to have do drop ins. So do drop ins, a five o'clock thing on uh, Thursday. And the idea is different people that do coastal related stuff. Um, could be directly related to the coast, could be tangentially related to the coast, are going to essentially give a little mini talk and we'll have a Zoom hangout um, with folks. So not everybody can, can hang out. So sometimes they're just recorded. But the idea for most of them I try to do is have them do a little bit of a, you know, 20 minute, 15 minute kind of quick presentation about their stuff or talking to me for 15 minutes and then open it up to you guys and you guys can ask questions. So uh, attending these, I think, will help you with your understanding of coastal management and, and you can draw on those examples in your midterms and stuff like that. But again, it's not required in any way, shape or form and, we'll, and they'll be recorded. So after the fact, you could also watch them later if you if you wanted to. Um, so those are and, and it's open to anybody. It's open to everybody, any ESRM class or whatever. But it sort of was designed around this class uh, as the initial motivator. Uh, and then Friday, whatever you haven't submitted yet, if you have something to do, submit the lab or whatever. You know, submit that, uh, etc. So um, so so that's you know of course you can do it differently, but but that's a suggestion for how to sort of approach stuff. A couple things um, just to flag in your calendar before we go on. So these are some dates. Obviously, uh, Veterans Day is a Monday, so we will not be, uh, no, no class at all, no office hours, no, no anything, official school holiday. Um, the 15th, I'm not sure if we're going to have a lab. I'm not going to be here. My son's going to college, so I'm taking him to school so i might have a colleague come do something but i but everybody's so frazzled i might we also might just punt on on uh lab that day but i will let you know soon but i just wanted to flag it so you guys knew that um oh my god i'm so stoked october 25th monday the epic annual esrm coastal co halloween costume contest yes it's back we did it last year on zoom <laughs> It sucked. There was like two people that did it. I was like, what? I reminded you. And half people's cameras are off. So it was just, it sucked. So this is normally a really fun thing. You do not have to participate. You could be as lame as you want and just show up in your clothes and just go, yeah, I'm too cool for school. But I hope as many of you participate as you, as you can. Um, so there's two categories. There's one that's uh, uh, the best representative or best representation of coastal management, whatever that is, a fisher person, a, a squid or whatever the hell, right? Oil spill or something. Um, and then uh, and then just the best costume, like the best cool. So there has to be some kind of coastal theme. And uh, you guys get some extra credit points. Whoever, we vote, it's, it's, I don't pick, we, we pick as a class, we vote on those two categories. 
and those folks get some extra credit points on uh, on the quizzes and or the tests. I can't remember what I do. It's been so long since we've done it in real life, but but um, just a little incentive. But it's a fun thing. Uh, so we'll do it at the start of class on that Monday, so you can come in your costume, and then afterwards you can take it off and sit down, and we can actually focus on work. But uh, but uh, super glad the costume contest is coming back. So um, every year there's a couple people go like, oh, I didn't know we're doing that. So I'm telling you right now, you have months to prepare your costume. No pressure. <laughs> but but uh, so that's the 25th. Um, uh, tentatively, again, I'm waiting to hear back from the UC Research Reserves where we stay, where we camp at night. We camp at one place in Cambria. We camp at one place in the middle of Big Sur. Um, and I, so I've not heard back yet, but but assuming that those are accepted, our, our trip date would be November 3rd through the 5th. Uh, so this is a Wednesday through Friday. So if you guys do want to go on the trip, and I hope you know several of you guys do, um, you do need to reach out to your to your um, other instructors, and and it's it hasn't been a problem in the past. Uh, you know, people just say uh, as long as you reach out early. The only time we've had problems is when people don't say anything, and then the day of, like, oh hey, chemistry teacher, I gotta go on this trip. My professor said I had to go on this trip. And they're like, what? What a bad word, professor. That guy is right. Um, so so as long as you tell people ahead of time, it's usually not a problem. You can do a makeup quiz or, or if there's something like that, you know. Um, so, uh, so if you do have a Wednesday through Friday uh, exam, uh, uh, class, you can see if you can get out of those. Um, the other thing that you can do as well is sometimes people like, I just, I just can't get out of my organic. We have a, a, you know, a midterm on that on the third. You can also you know, come late and meet us up partway. Or you can come to two days and then bail on the third day. So that, that's cool too. Um, but but the trip is designed as a, as a three day trip. Yeah. Um, so is it the type of thing where we all fly separately? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So so um, it's been a huge problem in the past. So I've, sometimes I try to get bands, but this year because of social distancing, it's actually the best thing. So so you guys can carpool if you want, like if you're if you're roommates or whatever, and you guys want it, that's cool. But yeah, basically what it, how the trip works is I have all these stations picked out or all these these uh, activities to do. And we leave here, you know, I don't remember. It's been so long since we've done the trip. But we leave here at like 7 in the morning or something. So it's based on that. And then we, we every place we get to is it's such that you can drive the speed limit and get there in time. You don't need to speed. You can even stop and take a quick pee or get, get a quick thing of gas or something. Um, uh, not too long, but you can do it really quick. Uh, and, not, and not worry about getting a, a speeding ticket or, or driving in an unsafe manner. And then we'll meet at a place, boom. And then everybody kind of shoo, 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 pulls up. We sort of hang out 15 minutes while everybody pulls in. And then we go do the thing. And then we, we do that event. Sometimes they're short. Sometimes we do something for like half an hour, 40 minutes. Sometimes we're there for like two, three hours, what have you. And then we, we, we go to the next thing and then the next thing and the next thing. And so uh, the plan is, again, I haven't gotten confirmation yet, but, but the, the general plan is we camp the first night in Cambria at a UC research reserve, so camp on the bluffs. I actually have some pictures, I'll, I'll talk about it. Uh, and then uh, at, in, um, in a, a Redwood Grove, the second night. So we're camping, we're outside, um, there's bathroom facilities and things like that. Um, okay, uh, so that, that uh, actually I'll hold that. I'll, I'll, I, I have pictures of this, I should have waited, but um, I'll talk about Blue Tech Week in a second. Um, Thanksgiving week, we, are, we will meet on Monday and Wednesday. So just if you guys are working on travel plans or something, we plan on meeting those two days, unless we're in some kind of weird COVID condition. Um, and then your final is due when the final, the, the slotted final time for this class is. So again, we have a take-home final. So you'll come to that time and just drop off the stuff, right? Or, 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 or have it emailed to me, uh, I guess is probably how we'll do it. So. Um, so we do have that final time, but that time is just to drop off the test. It's not an examination period. Um, this is where we will stay, hopefully. This is the Cambria, this is the Rancho, Mar Kenneth S. Norris Rancho Marino Research Reserve. And um, this is in San Luis Obispo County. So this is about, uh, what is this? This is about a uh, 25 minute drive north of Morro Bay. So we'll drive up, the plan is we basically drive up the 101 to get to Avila, which is our first stop, Avila Beach. 
Um, but then the rest of the drive were on PCH. So then we hug the coast the rest of the way. We kind of you know shoot up and then and then hug. So this is a really cool place. Um, it's it's uh, amazing coastal prairie. There's uh, one of only three native stands of Monterey pine left in the world. There's Monterey pine all around the world. People plant for plantations, but they're almost all introduced. This is one of the last places where they're their native uh, trees there. Uh, all kinds of cool intertidal. We usually have a fire at night. Uh, there's a big uh, uh, campfire pit and uh, camping on the bluffs with the ocean crashing, uh, you know, uh, sound lulling you to sleep. It's really cool. Uh, Blue Tech. So Blue Tech, my intent, original intent was we were going to go to the meeting as we've gone in some years, but they just announced two weeks ago that they're going uh, virtual again for safety purposes. So in one sense, that kind of sucks, but in the other, it's actually easier. So for folks that for family reasons or safety reasons don't feel comfortable about going on a, a you know, physical field trip, we can go on a virtual field trip. And so this is a really cool conference. This is one of my most favorite conferences. It's not really an academic conference. It is industry, the government, a lot of it's defense department, um, and, uh, and nonprofits. And so it's, it's all about businesses and getting um, uh, tech, inventing technologies and solving coastal problems, coastal and water related problems. So it's awesome. So many, so I, I sit on a lot of boards and, and elected bodies and stuff. And a lot of times we talk about stuff, sea level rise. And then, uh, how do I say this? Uh, someone from the public or what have you says, is that really real? And then we need to spend a lot of time um, discussing the science and that this is real. That's not this conference. This conference is all these folks, venture capitalists, people from around the world, people inventing new technologies. Stu they're looking for students like you to work in these fields. Um, and, and they're like, uh, hey, sea level rise. Like, that sucks. Let's solve it, right? It's not about wasting our time. It's about... It's about being positive and going forward. People from all political spectrums, people from all different walks of life. So it's, it's a really, I think, very empowering thing. Sometimes when I talk about stuff, I'm going to bum you out. Like, oh my God, no fish and all that kind of stuff. But this is a place where people are actively making solutions and making a living doing it. And so it's a really positive environment. This conference will go on all week and, and, and virtually all hours of the day. You do not have to do that. You, if you choose to go to this, um, uh, four hours at some point over the, over the five days. It could be an hour a day to go, go to this one session. It could be, it could be um, uh, you know, uh, uh, all in one day. It could be, you know, whatever. It, it doesn't matter. Um, I would encourage you guys to check it out as much as you can. All the students always love it. Students are like, man, I'm not into the, the economic stuff. And they love it. And so, um, so I really hope, so we're getting, I, I'm waiting to hear back from funding from school to see if they'll pay for our registration because it's kind of expensive. Um, so again, this is also one that we're kind of with COVID, it's unclear uh, uh, what's going to happen exactly, but in a couple of weeks, I'll know for sure. And I would, again, everybody's invited to go to both of these events, but I'd like you to go to at least one. Uh, it, uh, the, 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 the organization is physically, his home base in San Diego. So historically we would go to San Diego for the for the conference. Okay. So, wow, there's a lot. Everybody's super quiet and I've been talking. Questions so far about any of that intro logistics stuff? Yeah. 